Hello, uh, here's a video showing you how to register point clouds using Autodesk Recap Pro uh, 2020. Uh, I'm going to start from scratch, so I'll start with a new project. Go ahead and import a point cloud. Uh, I'll call it Red 11. That's the room that I'm scanning. It says, do you want to overwrite my existing project? I do. This is, uh, this is a project that I had initially made. I'm going to replace it. Go ahead and drag and drop those uh, scans, and then I'll just go ahead to auto register scans right here, and then you'll see this kind of come through. It's basically going to import the scans, index them, and attempt to auto register these scans together. So then at least the point clouds are are together and and not two separate clouds. So I'm going to go ahead and come back with you guys once this uh, this process of importing and and auto registering is complete. Okay, the import process is just about complete. So once this uh, import process is complete, it'll bring you to the registration page. Okay, so auto registration is complete. So let's go ahead and index these scans uh, and go to the to the project. Uh, itself and, and we'll be able to visualize the the stitched point clouds um, they're still not not on the coordinates from our survey points which is the the goal so once we get to uh, to the step where we can view this point clouds stitched together automatically we'll go into the process where we can register these to our survey coordinates okay the scans have indexed and imported into the to the project successfully so you can see there's two point clouds here and I can turn one on and off and you can see that they are overlaid very well together uh, but if I look at that from the top uh, it's not actually on my coordinates um, and if you look at these coordinates on the bottom these are down in the in the, in the single meters uh, and we we want these on the actual survey coordinates which are right around a thousand meters north and east um, so let's go ahead to the registration option. So up here we can choose this registration um, button and that'll bring up this registration screen. So here's the process. I'm going to go ahead and, and I'll start with, uh, I guess, the north side of the room. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place one of these circular markers right there uh, and then I will go ahead and make a survey point. So in this drop down you can see you can actually import uh, upload I guess it's called but it's like essentially importing survey points in the survey format so what that's going to be is point name northern easting and elevation um, this is a tab delimited file so it's not a comma separated value file like surveyors typically use so keep that in mind if you want to import it if you have a hundred points you're definitely going to want to probably import them and it's a tab delimited file uh, in this case I'm just going to type them in so so I know that this is the north one, uh, north point. So I'm going to go ahead and use that four. Uh, then I'll go ahead and type in 1,000. And 4.00 is my x value, which is the easting. And now I have 1,004.31 is my uh, is my northing value. And then 101.58 is my elevation. So now I have survey point four there. I'll, I'll just go to the, the west side and go ahead and <clears throat> create survey point number five so that's point number five uh, 998.30 uh, my northern value 1000.55 and elevation 102.37 i'm going to go to the south side which happens to be point number three and go ahead and call that survey point three uh, and the x value is 1,003.62. I'm getting these numbers right here, in case you're not tracking that. Uh, and then 996.01 is the northern, and 101.76 is the elevation. So now I've defined that for one scan. Uh, you can see I have 3, 4, and 5 there. Now I can go to my other scan, and, and I'll actually attach those there as well. So I'll go ahead in the same order. Uh, as in I confuse myself, so uh, we'll go there, 
And again, that is the north one, so I'll go ahead and choose four this time. Go ahead and save that. And uh, let's go to the south side here. And I'll choose my south coordinate, which is three. And why don't we do the final one, which is 0. 0.5 on the west side. So here we go. Next survey point. Again, you can type it in if you want. Uh, or you can do the drag down option to choose that. Uh, once you have that done, you can actually, you know, start to look at your quality report. So I'd, I'd suggest opening this up, looking at your target data, and you're going to see your matching here in terms of your confidence is, you know, sub 10 millimeters. And you can actually hide values less than 10 millimeters, and, and that way you'd see outliers. But in this case, we'll look at them all. Looks very good. So we'll go ahead and, and close that report. And let's return to the project. So now we should see this on our on our actual coordinates. And to check that, I'm going to zoom in here and uh, toggle the the value for one of these, or, or I guess view the value by by looking at my coordinates on the bottom. So this happens to be the south coordinate. So if you look down here on the south coordinate, um, if I kind of zoom in a little bit here, uh, we're seeing values right around that 1,003.61. Uh, about a centimeter there, uh, and then uh, 1,000 and, uh, or sorry, 996.01 right there, and then the elevation seems to match very good. So now we're actually on coordinates, and uh, we can go ahead and, and add additional scans if we need to, or uh, start working with this file, integrate this with any other data we have. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. If, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and uh, let me know if if uh, this makes sense. I will try to leave a link to, with this data below so you can go ahead and, and uh, try this uh, on your computer. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.